the talk I'm going to present to you today is on deep sensitive calcium carbonate. It's an encapsulated copper is a type of spoonery drug delivery system for cancer therapy. Uh, one of the main aim of uh, ideal drug delivery is uh, target the drug to the specific re region uh, by lowering the systemic level of the drug. So, uh, introducing stimulus responsive properties <coughs> is a very effective way to achieve this. pH is a chemical stimuli when this the drug delivery, a carrier, is reached to that pH trigger point, the drug is released. Um, because of high rate of glycolysis in cancer cells, both in aerobic and anaerobic conditions, tumor microenvironment is highly acidic. pH of normal tissue is 7.4. Each sensitive delivery systems are very valuable for controlling drug delivery in cancerous diseases. Recent years, many researchers have been done in this field. They have used different types of materials for introduce these stimulus responsive properties to the drug. The materials are categorized into three different parts. Organic materials, organic materials, and hybrid materials. So, the objective of my research is preparation and characterization of low cost pH sensitive calcium carbon encapsulated drug delivery system cancer therapy. We use calcium carbonate. So, what's the importance in calcium carbonate? The pH value of calcium carbonate is 9.4. That means it is basic. Other than that, it is biodegradable and biocompatible. The most important thing is, it is readily available in carbonate minerals, including dolomite. Dolomite is very cheap uh, raw material and it is readily available. For this study, the modern drug I used is copperfish 8 hydroxyquinoline 8-hydroxyquinoline is a monoprotein bidentate chelating agent that able to form a bis-substituted copper complex. So, this drug was encapsulated using calcium carbonate. The method I used is the co-precipitation method. Initially, the drug was um, added to a um, distilled water and stirred for 20 minutes. After that, a surfactant was added. The surfactant I used was CTAC, that is C-type trimethyl ammonium chloride, and it was stirred for an hour. Then, simultaneously, Sodium carbonate solution and calcium sulfate solution was added. So then the product was collected via centrifuge. After that, that was washed and dried. So let's see, was this a mechanism of encapsulation? The surfactant has a hydrophobic phobic cell and hydrophilic head. So, that hydrophobic head bond to that drug. To the hydrophilic head, which has a positive charge, carbonate anion of the sodium carbonate solution bond. Then, to that carbonate anion, calcium ions of the calcium sulfate solution bind. Therefore, it forms calcium carbonate. Then, this was kept for 24 hours for crystal growth. After this product was washed, the surfactant moved out. So, the final product only contains the drug inside this calcium carbon sphere. 
Initiating the exciting study, the scientists classified as well as the copper beam. Copper beam is from the drum, and the calcium beam is from what are used to encapsulate the calcium carbonate. In the exciting study, this is uh, the pattern for uh, the drug, modern drug, and this is the pattern for hollow precipitated calcium carbonate. And this is the pattern of encapsulated bread. You can see hollow precipitated calcium carbonate pattern and the encapsulated product gave the same peaks with corresponding basal plates, but none of the peaks visible in the copper complex are not are, are, are visible in this either of these two patterns. Same kind of result was observed in FRT study. This is the pattern of drug This is the pattern of the modern drug, and this is, this is the pattern of hollow precipitated calcium carbon product, and this is the encapsulated product. So the both patterns are same, but um, the the pattern, the peaks in drug, is not visible in those two peaks. So this this indicate that the uh, the complex copper complex or is incorporated inside in this calcium carbonate microspheres. Another kind of result we obtained from a uh, round spectroscopy. Actually, this uh, round this peak indicates uh, vaterite form of calcium carbonate. The vaterite form is a polyform of calcium carbonate, but that is that is in metastable state. Uh, it can be stabilized with an uh, incorporation of uh, metal or organic matter. So the drug consists copper. Therefore, the vaterite form of calcium carbonate can be stabilized. These are the TEM images. You can see the rhomboside shaped particles of uh, calcium carbonate is observed. These are the drug loaded ones. And there are some part, uh, particles that are not drug loaded. And the particle size are different because the calcium carbonate forms around a template, template of micelles. The micelles can be in different sizes and shapes. The determination of reducing property. So, um, in four different creations, we determine the releasing property of the encapsulated products. We determine the copper amount that released by using atomic absorption spectroscopy. So, uh, in creation eight, here for 24 hours, no release was observed. But within four hours, 100% was observed in pH 6, 4, and 2. My conclusion is encapsulation efficiency is 85.7%. The loading capacity is 30 mg of copper bismuth hydroxyphenone, the gram of encapsulated products. XRD, XRF, FTIR and ground spectroscopy studies reveal that copper bismuth hydroxyphenone has encapsulated with the calcium carbonate particles. No release was observed at physiological pH of 8 after 24 hours. First 4 hours, 80% release was reached at pH 4 and almost 100% release at pH 2. The release rate is pH dependent. This study supports the targeted drug delivery to cancerous tissues and intense internalization of drug to the cells. <coughs> My acknowledgement goes to Chiswok University, Hamagas to Japan for their round spectroscopy studies and Professor Ukul Vijay.
Vedanta from Lagrog University, United Kingdom. Done the TEM images. This is my university, University of Peradeniya, Sri Lanka. This is very beautiful university. It's located in the uh, center of my island. It's a uh, very beautiful. I invite everyone to visit there. And it's our nation's treasure of beauty and wisdom. Thank you very much for your attention. Thank you very much for the nice presentation and questions. Yes, thank you very much. I didn't understand how did you measure internalization in cells? I didn't see that in your data. Um, yes, ma'am. Um, yeah, we didn't measure actually that fact. But because um, of the pH of uh, late endosomes and lysosome, it is uh, pH 4.5, 5.5 range. So, uh, uh, if it is uh, internalized to endocytosis, so the coating of the drug is basic, then it can dissolve in that particles. So, uh, that's the thing I want to tell. Thank you. Thank you. I have a couple of questions. Yes, sir. This uh, of the drug copper uh, dishydrated and this calcium carbonate. This uh, complexation, all is an encapsulation. What type of bonding or uh, complexation? Yes. Is it a physical bonding? Yeah, it's a physical bonding. After, after washing, the surfactant moves out. So only around that, the calcium carbonate crystal grows and then inside that, the drug. Only that the hydrophobic tail of the surfactant bond to that uh, drug and then after washing it's marked. It's a physical bonding. In the physical bonding but during the drug release. Yes. Uh, is it not affecting? So actually uh, the drug we, we are already washed out before we give that to the patient. So they are they, so the surfactant is not on the end product. So uh, at the process we walked into Washington. Uh, this is of course a very innovative concept uh, mm -hmm. compared to this uh, silicon nanoparticles or like that. If it is really successful, obviously it will be a very novel one. But still, I think this is your hypothesis uh, that the yeah. uh, yeah. pH of these uh, cancer cells are uh, low or poor, and that is why you are using this uh, calcium. But there are maybe a lot of factors within there. Yeah. Lot of factors we have not studied, I think, that uh, uh, drug targeting or uptake of this uh, drug uh, by this cancer cells or internalization, uh, all these things, uh, how the pH uh, will affect all these things. In this, uh, I think, uh, for the uh, study also. Yes, sir, the study